Hello, my Leo family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your January 2021 monthly tarot reading, taking a look at your four tarot card messages, along with three oracle card messages for this month. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, and please subscribe. And join me each and every day for my Quick Glance Daily Readings. Now, just a reminder to everyone, these are general readings. For a reading that really relates specifically to you, click on my website link to obtain your own private reading. But for now, Let's get started and see what the cards are indicating for you this month of January. And your first card here, Leo, this is the focus for the month of January. And you have the Seven of Swords. Now your next card is the past influence possibly still affecting you this month. And you have the Five of Swords. Now your third card, this is any roadblocks or challenges in your way this month. And you have the Ten of Wands. And your last card here is the potential outcome for the month of January. And you have the Nine of Swords. Okay, Leo. Now, I will reveal your three oracle cards in just a little bit. Going back here to your first tarot card, which is your focus for the month, you have the Seven of Swords. Now, you might be thinking, Leo, that you really don't want the Seven of Swords to be your focus this month. But what the message coming through with this card, it's in regards to being aware and prepared for the individuals and energy that's going to be around you this month. There will be some, what I'm going to call low vibrational people, very deceptive, manipulating types of individuals that are once again going to try to just ease their way back in, Leo, only for their own self-serving interests. And that's pretty much the best way I can put it. And that's why this is going to be your focus for the month as you're not going to let this happen. This is something you're used to, Leo. And it's going to be here for January. Now, notice here. Notice the fox here on the card. This is your energy this month, Leo. You're going to be clever. You're going to see things coming. You're going to head things off. And these individuals are not going to know what hit them. And you just might surprise people around you by doing something that's unexpected, not the norm for you. Now, the Seven of Swords card, it's a card about doing what serves your own needs, Leo. But I don't feel it's going to be in a deceptive or manipulative way, as that is, you know, the exact same energy you're trying to get away from. This card for you, this month, Leo, is more of a card of having strategy in place. And many Leos usually can just see right through an individual, their true nature. And at times, you might overlook it. Now, the Seven of Swords is Aquarius's card. And the Aquarian traits in this circumstance for this reading is about being witty, perceptive, and very inventive. And as this card is ruled, by the moon, which means, Leo, trust in your own instincts. There is something going on behind the scenes, and the number seven energy of this card represents forces that must be dealt with that are beyond your control, Leo. But you are ready for it, as the number seven is the number of the crown chakra, and that's your direct connection with spirit this month. You are trusting in your instincts and your intuition, connecting with spirit for direction and guidance in regards to these negative energies that can be around you. Now, the Seven of Swords is associated with the fourth chakra, and that is your heart, 
So this is manipulating your generosity and your kindness, your good nature, Leo. So that is the difficulty here with this card. And this can be concerning relationships, friendships, partnerships around you. Now let's take a look at your past influence card here, which is the Five of Swords. With this card being in your past influence position here, Leo, this is what is preparing you and why you are focused here with the Seven of Swords energy. The Five of Swords is an energy of winning at all costs, and it can indicate a tough battle or a tough situation that has to be faced. Your past experiences here are preparing you for this month of January in regards to individuals and situations that can arise where normally you would just let it go. That's not going to be the case this month. This is all in regards to people that take advantage of your good nature, Leo. And the number five energy of this card is a difficult energy. And being the wonderful lion that you are, Leo, it goes against your general demeanor. It's like someone petting your fur the wrong way. But you've learned these lessons, so this is your past influence card, which is now making you more aware of individuals and situations that might be taking advantage of you in some way this month of January. And this time, Leo, you are not having it. Now, your next card, Leo, is the possible roadblocks or challenges you're going to have this month. And you have the Ten of Wands. Now, this is what you're dealing with this month. Take a look at this Ten of Wands. He's going backwards. He's actually headed in the wrong direction. And that is why your other two cards are here. Your Five of Swords, having collected all the experience in a previous situation or battle, and then your Seven of Swords, being aware of everything that's around you. As the Ten of Wands here, this is an indication that you've taken on so much work. And I really feel it's work that others have put upon you knowing that you're going to handle everything and they get to just kick back and relax. This is the situation that you've been dealing with prior to this month. And it's really interesting that in this deck, the Ten of Wands is headed backwards. He's facing your other two cards here. Now, the number 10 energy of this card is indicating this is going to be ending. Now that you're realizing what's taking place, Leo, none of these wands here, none of them are charged up or glowing. So it's a very heavy burden that has been put upon you prior to this month. Could have been several weeks, it could have been several months, could have been all of last year. And you are carrying the weight of the world. As you can see with this individual on this card. So the challenge for you this month is not to get yourself in another situation like this, as this energy is ending. Now, your last card here is the potential outcome for this month, Leo. And you have the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords usually turns up when something is really troubling you, Leo. This is being anxious about something, worried about something. You might have had trouble sleeping. And this card can indicate that you might be feeling ill or worried about your health. But in this case, Leo, this individual here, she's meditating. She's connecting with her higher self for guidance and direction. And none of the nine swords are touching her. And you can see here, right here, an owl flying in. 
which represents the deep connection you have with wisdom and good judgment and knowledge. And the owl is known for its sharp vision, insight, and intuition. So the owl showing up on this card is indicating that you can see beyond the mask that people wear. And now if you look up above here, that's the vision. You can see her vision with her meditation. And this individual has a mask on. That's what she's seeing. So all that this card is representing is that each night you're tapping into your higher wisdom. You're trusting in your intuition and guidance. And you can see right through people around you. And you're not losing any sleep over this, Leo. Now, the number nine energy of this card is one of review, but it is a review that is filled with wisdom and clarity and knowing how to handle things in the future. Now, your numerology for this month of January here with these cards is 31, which reduces down to four. And this indicates that you're very secure and stable in regards to what you see, what you feel, and what you hear. Now let's take a look at your three remaining cards and your crystal for the month. Malachite. And I thought I had mine handy. Usually I do. This is my malachite crystal. So let's put that there. And now your direction for the month. Cleaning house. And your angel answer card here. Forgiveness. Okay. So let's start off with your angels and guides have suggested Malachite for this month of January. Get out towards Leo. This is a month for you to ground your energy and grounding your energy out in nature. It's very simple. It can be touching a tree or some leaves on a bush or just feeling the sun on your face or the wind in your hair. These are very simple things that'll help you to reconnect with nature. And in doing so, you're actually reconnecting with yourself, Leo. Now, if possible, plan a day trip to a favorite spot out in nature and notice how wonderful you feel when you're there and how great your energy is when you return home. So your angels and guides are suggesting the Malachite crystal. The month of January indicating to get outdoors, Leo. Go take a simple walk with your crystal in your pocket and meditate. Now your next card is the Oracle card for your direction for this month and you have cleaning house. And I'm not surprised, Leo, that this is your direction for the month as your reading is all indicating to clear out the clutter, to like make room for better things. So with this card showing up, it's time to declutter your life and get rid of unwanted things in your physical home and also release what you no longer want or truly need. Also take a look and see if there's any unfinished business you should address. And that could be thoughts, memories, emotional baggage. That must be swept out right here, swept out of your house, Leo, as well as your conscience must be clear for you to move freely. So your direction this January is like a spring cleaning and making way for much better things and individuals. This is taking a good look at what you've resisted throwing out. So be honest, Leo, this is the time to clean house and that has to do with individuals around you as well. Now your last card here, your angels are indicating forgiveness. And once again, Leo, it's not what you think. This is about releasing the past and having a weight lifted from your shoulders and a sense of freedom to wash over you as forgiveness can work miracles. 
So this is in regards to you asking your angels to help you just to let go of any sadness or pain caused by others so that you can just be free. And for some Leos, this card's referring to a need for self-forgiveness. It's time to let go of any guilt you might be holding on to. Maybe in regards to past mistakes, give yourself credit, Leo, for having done the best you could, even if it didn't turn out the way you wanted. This is the time to focus on the changes you've made. And that made you a better person. This is not necessarily about forgiving people that take advantage of you repeatedly. You need to acknowledge that energy, just release it, let it go, and distance yourself from this energy, these individuals that your whole month focus might be dealing with. So one of the main messages with your reading this month is about focusing on yourself, Leo. What is best for you? Who is best for you? Is there give and take when it comes to another individual? Your entire reading here is in regards to people around you that possibly take advantage of your kindness and generosity. And take advantage of is the key here. You have several cards that are actually indicating a different meaning than what we would expect. Your main focus this month is the Seven of Swords. This is a card of doing the unexpected, being that clever fox here, and not letting situations or individuals keep taking advantage of your good nature, Leo. And the Five of Swords here, as your past influence, you started to begin to see who was taking advantage of you. And now this month, you're all the wiser. And your Ten of Wands is showing and telling you and warning you the challenge here is not to let this continue to go on as it has in the past. He's facing the wrong direction. This individual is carrying a heavy burden, one in which others depend on you consistently to do, Leo. Your Nine of Wands card Excuse me, your Nine of Swords card. Isn't that you're worried and can't sleep at night? This is you meditating, connecting with your higher self and having the wisdom and clarity to know what to do in the light of day. And with the number nine energy, each night you review what has taken place. So you'll tap into your Seven of Swords energy for the day ahead. Your main direction this month is the Oracle card, Cleaning House. This is cleaning house in more ways than one, eliminating individuals, situations, possessions, things that are no longer of use to you, Leo. And your angels and guides are suggesting forgiveness, but one in which you just let go of all that weight on your shoulders. Acknowledge it, release it, let it go, and move on. Plus, your angels and guides are suggesting more time outdoors, Leo. Get out in nature, whether it's taking a walk in the snow or by the ocean. Connect with Mother Nature so that you can renew, refresh, and restore yourself on a daily basis. Now, your numerology here for this month Reduce down to the number four, and you're taking back your sense of security, your stability, things that you want to put in place and build upon. This is an unmoving energy, one in which you're not going to let individuals or situations continue to take further repeated advantage of you. So eliminate what is not equal give and take in your life, Leo. And spend your time and energy with those who are worth it. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you'd like to obtain further information, click on my website link below for your own private reading.
Be sure to hit that subscribe button and help support my channel if you haven't already. And please join me for my daily readings or check out my channel for other tarot card readings available. Love and abundance to my Leo family.